and days for employees yeah what you need to keep in mind is that's a thing that people don't understand most of the time but let's get that out of the way freelancer are not employees i'm gonna say it one more time freelancer are not employees yeah second is this correct yeah yeah second employees you have an agreement with them yeah so we have two yeah reason i'm saying freelance are not employees because a lot of people think freelancer they oh they work for me no they work for me you hire them yeah you hire them you pay them for their services that simple here you can put anything in the contract before you hire them yeah but there's a big difference when you hire someone for example let's say i'm on fiverr on platform freelance.com doesn't matter and you hire a freelancer there most of the time when a freelancer apply on a platform they need to accept the terms and condition of the platforms and then they will get on the platform so technically when you have hire a freelancer that means they accept the terms of condition for someone else that they should keep your information a secret and then you hire them but that's the problem with this i has i had two two years ago was a developer was hired by a client of mine and the developer used the thing that the developer creates for the client of mine for his own personal project and my client discovered that so he came to me and he was like hey what's happening so we sent the platform a letter they blocked this developer he's not allowed to do that anymore yeah but the problem is the the customer has a uh, contract with the developer by hiring them but nowhere in the contract says hey you need to keep the information a secret you see what i'm going at if you hire a developer on a platform make sure you make an extra agreement that they should not share your code or your idea the way how you execute the idea with someone else so a developer doesn't work for you you hire them for their services and you need to make sure you have a contract directly with them so you don't have to go to someone else if he had a contract with him directly you can go after them but there are some rules that you say okay you know what you're doing something it's it's not appropriate you can go after them but you never know for sure and that's the problem with that you can waste your time going after a developer that doesn't have a lot of money or you can just um block the things that he really wants to be on a platform yeah in this case we chose to block him and um i don't think he resumed the project anymore if i remember correctly but the client did um didn't pay too much attention to him because he was focusing more on getting um the project launched and getting what he wants so he didn't want he didn't want to waste time on this yeah that's why we chose in that situation the best correction to go that way otherwise you're wasting time and energy so the moral of the story is when you hire a developer make sure you have a direct contact with him or her that they will keep your information a secret seriously that is really important some professional developers or companies they do know that yeah so freelancer can be one person but it can also be a group of person but cannot be company when you have those kind of things then you need to have a non-disclosure agreement keep that in mind so this video is about employees right yeah we just made sure that freelancers are not employees let's look at the employees the problem with employees is when you hire someone they go to an interview all the sh um, those things you they can sign a contract in the contract you can put one part where they where you say hey don't disclose do not disclose this information yeah so let's call it a, you can put one part in the contract and nda yeah if an employee already works for you let's say six months or a year or three months 
when you offer them an NDA, it's technically a new contract. Because when you hire someone, employee agreement, that's a contract. If you say, hey, we have some new information, we want, you send to, uh, we want you to sign a new NDA or new NDA contract, it's technically a new contract. They can say no. Seriously, they can say no. There's no reason for them to sign it. They can ask you uh, more money in order to sign it. That's the thing. This is after. Yeah. But before you hire someone, you can tell them, okay, before we talk about our company, I want you to send an um, NDA. And what, you, what kind of NDA do you need? One way. Simple. One way. Tell them this is the information about the company. We don't want you to, um, to share this company with anyone. That's simple. Yeah. One way NDA do you need? Yeah. I don't see a reason why you should use a mutual NDA with employees. I don't see. There may be some cases where you can use that, but I don't see that. For example, if if you're trying to attract some a CEO from big company to your company, then you let them sign an NDA. Because um, a mutual NDA, you don't want, they're going to be like, I, I'm not allowed to share this um, with you or whatever. Um, I don't see clearly where you can use an M, a mutual, but there, be, there will be some situation where you can use it. Yeah. So if you have an employee or you want to hire someone, you want them to sign an NDA, one way is the best way. Yeah. Protect your information. Yeah. So keep in mind, okay, an NDA afterwards is a new contract. It's that simple. Yeah. Um, yeah. Try not to make the NDA difficult. Put the information that you want to protect in it, not the information itself, the information goal, what we discussed in another video. If you don't know that, look at the video about NDA one way, and there you will see at point number one um, how it technically works. So if you have a question about it, what you can do is just go to martisbio.link. You see the link here? Just go here. And then you arrive on this page, you can go to the law center, and there you can ask me question directly. If you want to support us, you just press this. You press this and you support us and uh, we will really appreciate it. When you press this, you will arrive on this page and then you can buy me coffee. So here and put a message, something really nice. I will appreciate it. Or you can become a member. And if you want to know what kind of services we provide or what kind of package we provide, just go to the shop, look at the shop and see what you need. And in the future, there will be more videos about how certain kind of contract works and um, what are my experience with it. And maybe you can learn something from it and use it for your business. So it's all about you. Okay? And yeah, if you want to know our services, the shop or commissions, you can look at it. And this page is handy because then you know how everything, what the costs are. And yeah, it saves some time for me, especially when you need to explain a lot of things. So. If you like this video, seriously, like it. Just go to the like button and like it. And subscribe. Subscribe is for free. Seriously, it's free. Some sites you need to um, pay to subscribe. Twitter, for example. No, not Twitter. Um, Twitch. And don't forget to put on the notification bell on. See you next video.